this is the second question the slant height of a cone is 9.35 centimeters and the diameter of the base is 12 centimeters calculate correct to three significant figures the curved surface area of the cone so a cone is a pyramid that looks like this So something like this then we're told that the, so this is something like this we're told that the slant height this is the slant height of the cone is 9.35 centimeters 9.35 centimeters then we also have that the base has a diameter of 12 centimeters so from year to year it's 12 centimeters 12 centimeters so meaning that the radius the radius from the center to this side will be six centimeters the radius is six centimeters now we know we, we are supposed to calculate the curved surface area of the cone. Now, um, curved surface area of a cone, curved surface area of a cone is equal to pi times the radius times the slant height. So, the slant height is the L over here and the radius is the 6 over here so we plug in the values into this formula and simplify so we have 22 22 over 7 times the radius which is 6 times the slant height which is 9.35 9.35 centimeters so if you multiply this we obtain we obtain 176.31 to two decimal places now we run this to three significant figures. So the three significant figures we start from here. One, two, three. So the three significant figures we have one seven six centimeter squared. So that is the curved surface area of the cone. Now we have this the B aspect. We're supposed to solve this. So what we are going to do now is to express all to common base, and that is the highest common factor of all the bases, which is three highest common factor of okay we need to express all these to a common base which is 3 so we 1 over 3 is the same as 3 exponent negative 1 times the x over here so we have 3 exponent x then times Three exponent, you know, three exponent two. Then we change the three whole number one over two to seven over two. So times seven over two over here. Then all over three. 
so 3 exponent 1 then we change this one to 27 is the same as 3 exponent 3 3 exponent 3 times there is already 2 over 3 here so times 2 over 3 so you know this will cater for this then this this will also cater for this so we obtain 3 exponent negative x 3 exponent negative x times 3 exponent 7 all over 3 exponent 1 is equal to 3 exponent 2 now we use the law of indices here so because the basis are multiplying we add the exponent so we write one base we get negative x plus 7 all over 3 exponent 1 is equal to 3 exponent 2 now we again write down one base this time because they are subtract they are dividing we subtract the exponent so 3 exponent negative x then plus 7 minus 1 so this one is equal to 3 exponent 2 so we have 3 exponent negative x plus 6 is equal to 3 exponent 2 now the basis are now the same so we can equate the exponents negative x plus 6 is equal to 2 so we have negative x is equal to 2 minus 6 negative x will now be equal to negative 4 therefore we have x to be equal to 4 once again do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not done that yet then click the bell icon so that you can get the notification when i upload the next video now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.